And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Eighth Attorney Justice for All. I'm your host, Mega Shadow Fist, second video games, and second commentary. And we're in this heated argument with Mr. Miles Edgeworth about stuff. So, without further ado, then let's hear your possibility. It's very simple. The defendant went to the victim's room while in costume as a nickel samurai. At that time, the defendant had held no intent to murder. He was probably just going to relax and talk to the victim about the stage show. Which is why he took his gloves off. Hmm, but the murder still did take place. It's well known that the defendant and the victim had bad blood between them. Which, that, why would, it, okay. Hmm, yes, I have heard of that. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say about Mr. Edgeworth's theory? It's a load of crap! If they have bad blood, why would he go there to relax? That just doesn't make sense. But of course... Of course, that's probably me just using too much normal logic, and they probably want something like, You see, that's that's incorrect because he was obviously plotting to go butterfly fishing with Will Powers or so. I don't freaking know. So let me guess this. Let me get this straight. Edgeworth's theory goes like this. When the defendant went to... Oh, actually, he's thinking inside his head, so I should probably... When the defendant went to the victim's room, he had no intention of killing him. Now, up to this point, are there any problems with his theory? There is... Think about it one more time. I'd say there is a contradiction. This theory contradicts something in an earlier testimony. What, what are you babbling about? Now, for argument's sake, let's suppose Mr. Ungard was a killer, if that's the case. I think it's impossible for the killer to have gone to the victim's room without intent. Uh, um... Um... Oh boy, what am I going to present? Like, legitimately. I, I thought that I was going to get a text option or something. I think it's impossible for the vi- Oh, that's Phoenix. I think it's impossible for the vi the killer to have gone to the victim's room without, without intent. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, then, um... This! Perhaps? Naturally, you point to the one piece with the least value, but with such vigor. Enjoy your energy while you can. Humans don't live forever, neither do lawyers. You sure like to think you can bluff your way out of things, don't you? Oh boy. Phoenix, pay attention! Let's pretend for a second that Mr. Ungard is the murderer. Now from that angle, if, the, if he didn't have a murderer's intent from the very beginning, then that means there is a certain object that shouldn't be at the crime scene, right? Oh. A certain thing. What certain thing? How are, how are you going? How are you doing? How are you doing over there? Busy collecting your thoughts. All right, let's give this one more try. And with even more spear this time. Now, for argument's sake, let's suppose Mr. Ungard was the killer. If that's the case, I think it's impossible for the killer to have gone to the victim's room without intent. Uh, dude, that shouldn't be there. It's a wine glass. I think... Either that, or the guitar case. I want to get the wine glass first. Nope, that was incorrect. Naturally, you point to- okay. SHUT UP, EDGEWORTH! Okay. One more time, maybe it is- Let's pretend for a second that Mr. Ungard is the murderer. Now, from that angle, if he didn't have a murderer's intent from the very beginning, then that means there is a certain object that shouldn't be at the crime scene, right? A certain thing. Okay, so it, what certain thing? I'm gonna go with um, the guitar case then, because what else would it be? Those are the only two things that I can think of. There's the wine glass and the guitar case. Right? So, guitar case. No! Naturally, okay, so... Do you think, do you think I should reset on purpose? No, not this time. A certain thing. What certain thing? How are you doing over there? Busy collecting your thoughts. Okay. Now for the argument. Okay. Okay, so. If it's not the guitar case, it's not the wine glass, that shouldn't be there? The knife? Nope, that was it. This knife! This was used by Mr. Ungard at dinner. Y yeah, that's tr I'm stupid! Y yes, we did establish that. Which means that if my client was, in fact, the killer, then he brought his, this knife with him when he went to visit Mr. Corrida. I suppose. However, you just said it yourself. At that time, the defendant held no intent to murder. 
If that were true, then why would he bring a knife? He wouldn't, would he? He wouldn't, would he? Hmm. Which means, Mr. Edgeworth, which means, Mr. Edgeworth, your theory is far from sup from sup supposition one. And one more thing. If the murderer were, was wearing the costume at the, murder, at the time of the murder, then there should be glove marks left on the m knife. Hmm. Which means that the defendant's fingerprints shouldn't be all over it like bees on a hive. And that brings me to my final point. This knife was planted by the real killer to hide their identity and mislead us. Uh, order! Order, I say! Order in the court! Was this knife really planted by the killer? Why would the murderer do such a thing? To hide the murder method? To frame Matt on guard. It's not to hide the murder method, it's to frame Matt on guard, because it was fairly obvious from the very beginning what the murder method was. It's to frame my client, Mr. On Guard, of course. To frame. Uh, aren't you forcing the interpretation just a little too hard on this one? But we just established that the witness saw the Nickel Samurai in costume. And if that were true, then there shouldn't be a single fingerprint on this knife. Ugh! Witness! Looks like I've made your life a tiny bit more difficult, huh, Edgy? Mm. Witness, did you or did you not really see the Nickel Samurai? Well, I guess at first I might have forgotten, but... Are you saying you missed up Mr. Ungar with a Nickel Samurai, his character on TV? But I mean, I can't really do anything about that! Look, I was waiting around in front of their door- in front of their doors because, well... Well, I wasn't waiting around for the Nickel Samurai, that's for sure! She was waiting for, uh, Adrian Andrews, I think. Cause, like, maybe this is where it's supposed to- okay. She wasn't waiting for the Nickel Samurai. Let's go ahead and save, because we haven't saved in quite some time. Okie dokie then! Without further ado, let's go ahead and go from suspending game to continue, and from continue to from save point, and from save point to right here. She wasn't wa she wasn't waiting for the nickel samurai. All right then, who were you waiting for then? Humph! That's top secret to anyone outside of security. I have a feeling that you were waiting for Mr. Juan Corrida. Am I correct, witness? <laughs> the way you think, you are a sad amateur with a terrible case of nearsightedness. Amateur. Me? What am I an amateur of? Pretty much everything, sir. So, Old Bag was waiting around in front of the victim's room. But it doesn't sound like she was waiting to catch a glimpse of Mr. Corrida. Maybe. Phoenix, maybe the Old Bag was waiting around for that person. Hmm. If it's who I think me is hitting at, it's certainly possible. Miss Old Bag, you were waiting for this person to come out of the victim's room, weren't you? And that person was obviously Adrian Andrews, because who else would it be, eh? Uh, Adrian Andrews. Oops. Hey, stop. 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 Stupid computer. Present! Who is this person? This is Adrian Andrews, Miss Mr. On Guard's manager. But, but, but why would the defendant manager be in the victim's room? Uh, let's see. It seems that this is the latest rumor in circulation, Your Honor. Hmm. Oh, this is... Well, this is... Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I see. The judge seems to be really into the article. If it can be called... If it can be called such a thing. Then the manager with the initials AA, are you saying it's... Adrian Andrews. Without a doubt, the witness thought so as well. Hmph. Looks like you found me out. Well, that's fine. I can throw away this whole sworn to confidentiality stuff. Witness, what in the world are you? Watch out, Phoenix. I've got a bad feeling about this one. A very bad feeling. I got some information. Some very secret information from a certain source. Probably Lada's, probably Lada Heart. Lada's camera. So that's why I was doing my own little investigation. In secret, of course. B -b but what for? Oh, just for myself. Personal reasons and all that. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, how will you proceed from here? I really don't want to do this. However, I can't simply... I cannot simply let this point slide. Let me get a drink of water. I see. Very well, then. Witness, please testify about this secret information. Get ready! This is going to take the wet out of you, youngins! 
I'm sure we're really capable of handling this. Really, it's not like we're 10 years old. Secret information! That guard is one evil, evil man! He thought he could ruin poor one by causing a huge scandal! So to do that, he went- He sent his old manager to get in close with one! I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action! Oh, and this is top secret, you got that? Nobody else but you and me know that- No yet, okay? Uh, but that's okay. The defendant sent his manager. What a distasteful topic for this court. What? Nobody's above gossip? And isn't it they're saying the truth is never pleasant? Never heard of that one before. Actually, I think I might have actually. Mr. Edgeworth, what about this Adrian Andrews person? We have looked into this matter and found that the truth and found that the truth to the article's proposes is in fact baseless gossip. Hmm, but should this be true, then this proves that the defendant did bear ill will toward the victim. So this means I have to smash this rumor once and for all. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Be careful, this old bag seems rather excited right now. That's right, and gosh, nothing but your average foul blooded youth! Well, as the old saying goes, you've got to burn old bags with fire. I don't think that's true. Time to fire up the afterburners and hit the highway to the danger zone. I don't know why I'm talking in a sing-songy mood, because I doubt that Phoenix is actually talking like that, but I don't care. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and save. Yes, please. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make as little mi- Oh, I, you don't- no one wants to make mistakes on purpose. But I'm going to try to- my heart just not to make any more mistakes, because we barely have any- We barely have any patience meter, and this case is supposed to be gone for quite some time anyway. So, that card is one evil, evil man! You can't say something like that without proof! That's just slander! Ad hominem, in fact. But it's true! That woman is getting intimate with poor one! Look! It says so right here, doesn't it? Manager to the stars, Miss A.A. But the name of the magazine this came from is Gossip Land. What? Are you saying that gossip is owned as a pack of lies? Hmph! <laughs> what do you know? I'm supposed to actually swear to me that the news is 100% truth! Um... Honestly, Sonny! You can't discriminate between the news and gossip! Yes, discrimination is bad, Mr. Wright. Discriminate? When did I do anything like that? Anyway, Uncle will never get to me to save Touche! He thought he could ruin poor one by causing a huge scandal! A scandal? What do you mean by that? You're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you don't know what a scandal is! Honestly, why are they teaching kids in middle school these days? Uh, no, no, I wasn't asking what the word scandal means. Even I know that much. Well, that guard thought he could own a monopoly on popularity! So to do that, he sent his old manager to get in close with one! You don't have any proof that Mr. Ungar did any such thing! You must be suffering from shock! The shock of hearing the truth! And now, since you're in so much shock, you can't do anything right! You're right. I can't do anything, but boy do I wish I could do something about you. Alright then! Sonny, show me what you've got! Can you show me proof that Ankar didn't bear any ill will towards one? Okay, we're gonna decline to present- to offer the, the offer just for one second. I don't have anything to offer! See? Just as I thought! And you were lecturing me about saying things without proof! You've just given me a free pass to say whatever I want, what, what, whatever I want, silly boy! Me and my big mouth. I just want to press everything for- That's the way the cookie crumbles, for you anyway! Okay. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action! So, what do you mean by I took action? Like I already told you, I was lying way close to the crime scene! Once the slimy woman came out of Wad's room, I was going to capture and teach her a good lesson! Something you youngins need! You were going to teach her a good lesson? I was going to make her eat the damaging beans of my ray gun! <laughs> like this! Mm, no! Stop! <laughs> well, it was too bad that woman didn't come through the door that night! Oh, and this is top secret, you got that? Nobody else but me, you, and me know yet, okay? Wait! What? I'm a busy woman! Take tea time with the kids is over! Secret information that no one else knows yet. 
If that's true, then how do you know this secret information? Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yes, that's it. I, it's secret. Even if you drill a hole into my brain, you'll never find out. How in the world did that old bag get such a secret piece of information? Uh, let's press further. If you don't be, if you don't be a good girl and tell me where you got this secret information, you won't get to go home today. I'm pretty sure it's Lada's camera. Um, Edgy Boy, what are you doing? Help me! Eh? What do I have to do with this? Just do this for me. You'll get your reward. <laughs> I don't want your reward, but you don't leave me much of a choice. Objection! The witness could have gotten her information from anywhere. It's even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. And he lectures me on the reckless blabbering. <laughs> as long as we don't know where this information came from, it's quite a waste of time to focus on this line of questioning. Where did Old Back get her inside information? It's from Lada's camera. There has to be something I can use to figure it, figure it out. S sounds like just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't just ignore it either. It makes you cl your client look bad either way. Sounds like another tidbit of gossip. I think that's our hint. Well, I don't think I heard anything really out of the ordinary just now. There has to be something we can catch her on. Yeah, and when I find it, I'm going to press the heck out of it. Okay. That on guard is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent his own manager to get in close with Juan. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Oh, and this is top secret information. You got that? Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? Okay, wait. Wait. It's ob This is obviously Lotus information. Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yeah, shut up, you lying old bag. How in the world did that old bag get such a blah blah blah? Oh, old bag, is what you said. Present evidence. So no one else is supposed to know this secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know it, Miss Old Bag? Why do you look at me like that? Stop that! Witness! I'm sad to say it, but this is how you found out this secret, this secret, isn't it? Lada's camera, perhaps. The investigative photographer, Lada Hart. Oh yes, I remember that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note that she had written to herself. She reported such a thing. On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her, some of her outer ego, er, impressions. About the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? Outrageous ideas, you say? No, 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 I said impressions. Meaningless. Ah, that's it. That's the note. Ah! ah! No, you see, this is something completely different. This is a complete. This is top secret. List of course, you should buy. Hmm. Then you are the one that who took Miss Hart's note. I'm a huge fan of Wands. That's why that that infamous puppy here, Whippersnapper. She's working with that evil on guard. She said so herself. On guard. I'm his sidekick. She was so happy, smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Even Edgeworth. <laughs> Even Old Bag. Edgy Poo! You believe me, don't you? Mm. I was only trying to help out like the eagle I am! It's only one little piece of paper! I've never taken anything else before! Didn't she also take something else in the previous game? You really should come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. <laughs> Well, if it was only a piece of paper, I suppose we can overlook this just w this once. She looks like she's really sorry. Should I forgive her? <laughs> Pile on more pressure. Hold on, let's save. Let's save first. Yes, I'm not gonna forgive her. <laughs> well, a lot of heart deserves it. You know, I'm, I'm of the fundamental belief that, you know, we should be nice to everybody. I don't believe that just because these are fictional characters, that means that you can treat them however you want. But Old Bag is a special case. When justice, is need when justice needs to be served, it needs to be swift and severe. So in the next episode, we'll pile on more pressure. Awkward pause! <laughs>